I'm Chris Ashard, a Developer Relations Engineer for Google's AI Frameworks. Today we'll take a look at how to profile your PyTorch XLA workloads on TPUs using XProf. TPUs are powerful, but bottlenecks can hide anywhere, in your input pipeline, your model code, or even how operations are compiled by XLA. Profiling helps you pinpoint these issues, and XProf is Google's tool for performance analysis of machine learning models and works great with PyTorch XLA. To profile your code, you'll use the torchxla.debug.profiler module, usually imported as XP. There are three main parts to add. First, we import the profiler and then start the profiler server before training. Next, we wrap a section of code that you want to profile. This is often your main training loop. You'll use xp.starttrace and then xp.stoptrace. Start trace takes a directory path where the profiler data is to be saved. Finally, to make the profile easy to understand, you can add custom labels using xp.trace in the context manager. This lets you name specific blocks of code, like your forward pass, backwards pass, or your optimizer step. These labels will show up in the xprof timeline, making it much easier to correlate the visual profiler back to your PyTorch code. Now, you just run your Python script as usual. PyTorch XLA will automatically collect the trace data and save it to the log directory that you specified. To view the profile that was created, we'll use XProf. Make sure you have it installed with pip install XProf. Then launch it with the XProf command, pointing it to your log directory. When you open the URL that XProf provides, you should see different runs with the runs select box and you can switch between different tools with the Tools select box. The most powerful tool here for understanding step-by-step -step execution is the Trace Viewer. Here you'll see timelines for both the host CPU threads and the TPU devices. You can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around the viewer and zoom in or out. You can see the custom labels we added here, forward, backward, and so on. These blocks show you how long each part of the step takes. Then we can look at the TPU device rows. This shows the actual operations running on the TPU hardware. You can look, are there big gaps where the TPU is idle? This could mean your input bound, or the CPU isn't feeding enough data, or perhaps there is some host device synchronization problems happening. You can click on any operation to get more details, like the operation type, duration, and sometimes which high level operation it comes from. When profiling, look for idle time on the TPU, long running operations on the host or device, and any unexpected communications overhead. Your xp.trace annotations are key for linking these back to your model. Now that's a quick introduction to profiling PyTorch XLA on TPUs with XProf. Regularly profiling your models is essential to unlock the full potential of TPUs. For more information and documentation about XProf and PyTorch XLA, Visit the GitHub or OpenXLA links in the description below.